Hey there, Landon Austin. So I know this video is very different than what I normally do on this channel. Um, I love to make music, I love to play songs, write songs, produce, all that fun stuff. You guys know that. Um, but another one of my passions is I love music business. I love talking about the industry and what it's like being an independent artist in 2019. I just think it's so interesting with the way with the internet and how everything works. Uh, it's just fun to talk about. So I thought it'd be fun to make this video. So anytime I meet someone new, they always want to know how much you get paid when your music's played on Apple Music or Spotify. Like I tell people I do music for a living, this is my job, and so they want to know that. And it's actually really interesting, so I thought it'd be fun to make this video to shed some light on that topic. So I'm going to pull up one of my more popular songs. This is a song called Armor. Now this is a song I wrote, and I released it independently a few years ago, and it's done pretty well. It's got over 8 million streams across stores. And I could break it down by store and say, you know, it's got this many million streams on Spotify, this many on Apple Music, this is what Spotify paid me, Apple Music. Because each store has different pay rates. They're not very different, but they're definitely different. But even within those numbers, like Spotify will pay differently if it's a listener in a different country or if it's a listener who's a paid subscriber or not. And Apple Music also has their own kind of different parameters. So instead of breaking down all those specifics, I'm just going to say this is what income was generated from 8.2 million streams across streaming platforms. Just give you a good rough idea. So one more note, the stores actually pay you a couple months late. So if you get a stream in July, they won't pay you for that stream until August, September, October-ish. It's kind of two to three month delay. So as of August 2019, my song Armor has 8,276,209 streams across streaming platforms. And the streaming platforms have paid me $26,846.77. And that money generated, that's actually from the sound recording royalties. And I'm not gonna go too much into all this, but every song has a publishing side and a master side. And if you're really that curious, Google that, you can learn more on this. But just for our purposes, those are the sound recording royalties that were generated. Those get paid to my distributor, which get handed off to me. But that $27,000 that were made from the song, I actually split that 50-50 with a friend of mine. He helped me do the recording and he owns actually 50% of that sound recording. Um, but it's cool because every month we'll get a check for that song and um, it, it fluctuates depending on the streams. And I say all this because kind of how my friend owns half of Armor, I'm doing this new thing where you can own portions of upcoming songs I'm gonna release. And I'm doing it through this service called Royalty Mind. And what they do is they allow people like you to invest in unreleased songs. And so it's kind of like buying stock in a company. When you buy stock in a company and the company does well, your stock becomes more valuable. And you're not only financially rewarded for that, you not only make money off that, but you get to be part of something that's thriving. And it's kind of fun to follow and keep along with. But it's cool because you can own as much or as little of the songs you want. The way it works is you go on their website and you can hear a preview of the unreleased song. So this is a song that's not even in stores yet. Anytime it's on there, it's not even out yet. And you can say, you know what, Landon, I really like this song. I wanna own $5 worth of it, a $5 stock, if you will, or a $10 stock in the song. Or you know what, I don't really like it, Landon. It kinda of sucks, but I like you a little bit, so I'll buy 25 cents worth, I don't know. Whatever your motive is, you can own as much or as little as you want. I think the smallest you can own is actually a penny, which is insane, so. And then every month, after the song goes live in stores, after it's in Spotify, Apple Music, Royalty Mind will pay you your proportional, proportional, that is a hard word, proportional royalties from that song. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. But it's cool because then when you're on Spotify and if you see the song you invested in in a major playlist, you'll know the next month that that share is going to be worth more um, than if it wasn't picked up. It's just kind of a fun way to, to track all that stuff. But check it out. It might be for you, might not, doesn't matter. Uh, just look at the link, and if you have any questions, I have an email down below. You can contact my booker, and uh, he'll help you with that stuff. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.